I'll sing you a quick verse. It's a song about being married. Anyone married out there? <laughs> <laughs> this is a song. I'll sing you the first verse. It's called Honey. I came in last night. I was roaring drunk. You took a whiff of me. You said, man, your body's stuck. Hit it. Oh, apparently I don't remember it. Never mind. <laughs> I'll, if I think of it, I'll sing it. It's very funny. It's brilliant. That's, I love that phrase. You all say brilliant. I love that. Brilliant. Like, I think I'm going to find it brilliant. <laughs> I thought it was too. Thank you. Anyone? All right, you've got to ask a question or put your side down. Oh, oh, it's that side thing. Did you make that? No, it's because I'm the person who calls balloons. Oh. He makes balloons. He makes balloons? Yeah. Wow. Okay. Do you have a question? Oh, you're waving your balloons. Yes. <laughs> Yours are much smaller. Do you have balloon envy? <laughs> I know, it's not about the size of a balloon, but what do you do with it, okay? <laughs> very nice, very nice. Absolutely. My balloon can beat up your balloon. <laughs> Texas accent. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> I'll tell you what, you just move your, you just, you just move, say it again? That was good. Hey y'all, I'm from Texas. <laughs> hey y'all, I'm from Texas. It's alright. It's not too bad. That's better than my Irish accent, I can tell you that. That's pretty good. You know what I'd love to do? I can't do it today because we haven't planned it, but uh, maybe if I uh, have the privilege of coming back, uh, I would oh, I, I, and I talked about this at a convention up in um, uh, New York a couple, about a, six months ago. I would love to take a bit of anime, like a, a, a scene from a show, doesn't matter what show, but has like maybe three or four characters. And it's the same scene, right? But we take suggestions from the audience, and we just show it, and then we, we are up here as actors, and we re-voice it live, based on your suggestions. You think that'd be fun? Yeah. Be like, toilets, all right. Why not gotta go to the toilet? Well, I think that's a great idea, let's do it. I'm doing it right now. Uh -oh. <laughs> You know, and then just, I think that'd be a lot of fun. So, uh, I'll talk to Nate. We'll come back next year and do that. Yeah. Okay, okay we're, we're just, uh, so last one question. more question. Last question. Have you ever been to Bandera in Texas? Bandera, Texas? Cowboy capital of the world? Yes, ma'am, I have. That's where I spent my honeymoon. Not with a cowboy. <laughs> <laughs> I went to Bandera, Texas and stayed at the, um, it was a Duke Ranch. The name of it, but uh, yeah, rode horses and floated the Medina River. And uh, have you ever been to Medina? I mean, to uh, Bandera? Yeah, uh, I went there for two years. Well, not all at once. I went there one year and then I went there again. But then, what's it? Uh, my parents decided to buy some new place there. And then we used to go to the Running Ore Ranch, but they closed down, so we don't go there anymore. Third time, I like it. <laughs> well, next time you're in Texas, ring me up. I'll come say howdy. <laughs> I love Bandera. In fact, I'll tell you, Bandera, Texas, I've got a good friend of mine who's also a client. Um, I handle his voice work, or his uh, commercials. He's a DWI. Do you know what DWI is? It's a, maybe they call it DUI here. It's a drinking while intoxicated. No. <laughs> Driving while intoxicated. <laughs> Sir, you're arrested for what, being drunk while you're drinking. <laughs> well, that's why I'm drinking. All right, you're in more trouble now than you thought. <laughs> anyway, he's his attorney, and we went to his ranch, and I got to this is the coolest thing ever. We were sitting around talking. I was like, so he's a gun enthusiast, right? He's got guns. He's got machine guns. He's like, oh yeah. Really? Can we shoot one? He's like, sure. You have a Tommy gun? You know what a Tommy gun is? It's like the gangsters in the 20s, you know? He's like, yeah. In fact, I got a Tommy gun. This is true. I don't know if you know this reference or not. But it was owned by a gangster back in the 20s by the name of Pretty Boy Floyd, who was around with Bonnie and Clyde and, and uh, Al Capone and all those guys. This is the big gun from the 1920s. And uh, he took us out to his gun range and we got to shoot it. And, and we'll close with this, but we were shooting this one gun. It was like this M something or another. And you put it, you put it in the clip and we got like 15 rounds a piece. And you shoot it and this is a brand new machine gun. That yeah, sounds like a toy. And then we put in this 45 caliber Tommy gun. <laughs> it's like, <laughs> <laughs> and he's like, and he goes, and he, and he, and he said, you know, with the little one, you're just like, <laughs> but this other one has such kick, you're just like, <laughs> oh, sorry. <laughs> and so much kick, you're just like, oh, oh, oh. Um, on behalf of Andrew and myself, I would like to say thank you all so much. Give yourselves a wonderful round of applause. You all have been a fantastic audience, and I have enjoyed uh, sharing the stage with my new friend Andrew. And uh, we'll see you all at the con. Thank you. Um, anybody wants an autograph or pictures or anything like that, feel free. Or